Diana, and this is my daughter, Isabella. Um, we love Journey of Faith Kids because we love to um, not only serve, but also we get to serve alongside of each other as a family. This morning, we're going to learn a story. We're also going to worship together. We're going to sing some songs. We're going to play some games together. Um, and if you're joining us online or in person, it's great to have you here. Make sure your parents check out the parent guides on our website for fun activities you could do each week. Hope, Hope you, you have, have an, an awesome, awesome time. time. Bye. Bye. Brandon, yeah. you are not going to believe what I got. Oh, where I believe I won't believe it. <laughs> Check this out. Ooh. Oh, all right. Uh. <laughs> oh, I got, oh, I got motor oil. Oh, uh-huh. I got a tire iron. Look at that. Look at that. I see it. I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a shoe. One shoe. You don't know how many times I just needed one right shoe. Oh, oh, I got 30 plastic bags shoved into one plastic bag. And I, oh, I got a bag of clothes labeled thrift store. John, what, what is going on here? Oh, there's a trunk or treat happening in the parking lot. And, and I got all this stuff. Trunk or treat? Yeah. John. Yeah? Do you know what a trunk or treat is? Yeah, yeah, it's where people open up their trunks and you can get treats from them. No, no, it's where people give kids candy from their trunks. Candy from a trunk? That's that's disgusting. No, no, that, look, look what I got. This is a treat. Whoa, whoa. Look at that. Yeah. It's a spare. I got a spare tire. For what vehicle? Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And welcome to the So and Slow. Whoa. Uh, yeah, the So and Whoa show. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. Let's pull it back <laughs> okay. and try again. Yeah. All right, can uh, we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. <clears throat> Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. And I'm John Wowzers. Okay. You know, just leave it. Okay. All right. Hello, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And welcome to the Where Is It Going? What is going on? I don't know. Here, let's, let's just grab it. Here, here, here. Let's just. Yeah, sorry. It's fighting me. It's fighting me. Okay, here we go. Oh, I think, uh, I think the breakdown okay. here is broken. Oh. This thing is falling apart. This desk is a piece of junk. Yeah. You know what I'm thinking? We need something flashy. Yeah, something snazzy. I catch Head it. turning. I think it's time for an upgrade. Yeah, let's soup up this desk. We did it, so and soians. It's time to reveal our brand new so and so show desk. Yeah. Count us down, John. All right, 37, 36, 35, 34, really? 33, 32, 31. John. I'm building up the anticipation. 30, 29. Just... Okay, fine, fine, fine. Three, two, one. Ah! Oh, this is amazing! Uh, let's give him a tour, show him what's under the hood. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, absolutely. You'll notice the paint scheme. Yeah. It's red. Yeah, bold, like us. Uh, accentuated with, with what are these, real diamonds? Uh, probably not, they all came in one tiny bag from the craft store, but you know what, just for now, let's assume yes. Accentuated with diamonds, uh -huh. because we shine bright. Like a diamond. Yeah. 
And if the accents on the desk weren't enough, you'll notice in this custom-made sign there are 365, are we calling these diamonds? They are diamonds. Okay, 365 diamonds for the 365 days in a year and the 365 episodes of the So-and-So Show we have done. And right here, we have our very own music break sex. Oh yeah. Take it, John. Like the sound of angels. Yeah. Oh, and don't forget our very own popcorn maker because you never know when we're gonna need a snack. Oh, we have these emergency lights. Oh, right yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, safety first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna play a little more of this. This is cool. I mean, this is, this is nice and all. But, yeah, I kind of miss the old desk. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I mean, this one is super flashy. Yeah. But our old desk. Oh, it was solid. Yeah. Held us up under thick and thin. It was excellent for all the right reasons. It wasn't about what was on the outside. No, it had what was important on the inside. Yeah. It was true to us. This one feels a little ostentatious. Oh, gesundheit. Oh well, too late now. Yeah. Hey, but hey, it's it's Bible story time with Kellen. <laughs> oh. Hey, fellas. What is happening? Well, we thought we'd soup up our desk. <laughs> yeah, but I'm afraid we miss our old desk. Yeah. Seems like we got caught up in thinking about things that don't really matter. Yep. Well, you know, today's Bible story is just one verse, but it's a good reminder that what we think about is really important. Oh, well, then by all means, take it away, Kellen. Our Bible verse today comes from the book of Philippians. Now, Philippians was a letter written by the Apostle Paul to one of the very first churches in a place called Philippi. And listen to what the verse says. Finally, my brothers and sisters, always think about what is true. Think about what is noble, right, and pure. Think about what is lovely and worthy of respect. If anything is excellent or worthy of praise, think about those kinds of things. So Paul was saying that we can control what we think about. And to help me break this verse down a little bit more, I have two of my absolute favorite people, Jackie and Dee Dee. Take it away. Jackie, you know what I'm thinking? Is it true? Mm -hmm. Noble and right? You know it Then is. let's do this. When you think of things that are true, it is good, yes, good for you. When you think of things noble and right, you will be a shining light. Woo! Jackie and Dee Dee are exactly right. Paul tells us that our thoughts are super important. And when we focus our thoughts on things that are true, noble, right, and pure, it is good. And not just for us, but for those around us. Let's see what Jackie and Dee Dee have for us next. Hey Jackie, what's up? Just thinking. What are you thinking? I'll tell you. Think on things worthy of praise and you won't feel stuck in a maze. Think on things excellent and you will find your heart content. Woo! That's so true. Paul told us to think of lovely things, things worthy of respect. That really could be thinking about a beautiful piece of music you just listened to, or thinking about all that God has done for you. Sometimes, if we find ourselves thinking of things that aren't like the things Paul listed, we can feel lost, and that's when we need to adjust. Let's check in with Jackie and Didi one more time. Dee Dee! Yeah, Jackie, are you ready to bring this home? Oh yes, that's a good thought. Let's do this. T-R-U-E, focus on what's true. Because when you do, God will make your heart brand new. T-R-U-E, 
Think about what's right. God can help keep you focused on what's excellent and bright. T R U E. God will always be. Let's think about that, and our minds will be set free. T R U E. Focus on what's true, because when you do, God will make your heart brand new. All right, let's give it up for Jackie and Dee Dee. Bye, Kellen. In this one verse, Paul gives us a lot. So let's look at it one more time. Finally, my brothers and sisters, always think about what is true. Think about what is noble, right, and pure. Think about what is lovely and worthy of respect. If anything is excellent or worthy of praise, think about those kinds of things. There are a lot of things in the world trying to get our attention. Our thoughts can be filled up with things like wanting more and more stuff or worry. But when we focus our thoughts on God and on things like Paul mentioned, things that are true and lovely, it can give us peace of mind. Here's one thing that's true to help help you get your thoughts started. God loves you no matter what. And God wants you to love others. When your thoughts come from a place of love, that's a great place to start. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah, that was great. It's hard for me to keep my thoughts focused on good things all the time. Oh, no doubt. But we should always try. I think being aware of what we're thinking about throughout the day can put us on the right path. Yeah, that's great. Hey, thanks, Kellen. See you next time. Oh, I hope you figure out your desk situation. Yeah, we'll think on it. (laughs) Hmm. <laughs> what are you thinking about, bud? I'm thinking about what I think about. Which is... Yeah. Okay. Uh, reveal the question! What do you spend the most time thinking about? Food. I think about what to watch on TV next. Oh yeah, or maybe you think about school or how many days there are until your birthday. Mm -hmm. Or food. Food. Our mind is constantly thinking. Sometimes we just need to slow those thoughts down. Yeah, because when our thoughts and our heart are focused on the things of God, we can choose to be truthful in whatever we say and do. It doesn't matter how fancy your clothes are. Or how fancy your desk is. God cares about what's on the inside. Mm Mm-hmm. Should we get this desk back to what's on the inside? Let's do it. (laughs) And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. All right. I've got these lights. All right, I'm gonna start with this. All right. Saxophone, and I'm gonna place it out here. Mm -hmm. Can you get these emergency lights here? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll get the emergency lights. Whoa! All right. Sorry, sorry. You'd think those would have gone off. (laughs) I know. I know, it was an emergency. All right, here we go. Oh, sorry. Mm-hmm. This is a lot. Here, you got it. Yep, that's hot. Oh, oh sorry, I unplugged oh, it. Oh, it's hot? I'm sorry. No, that's all right. Not too hot. I think they're, I think they're LEDs. Yeah, um, what, what is, how do uh, the we? wheels. Oh, yeah. Those are cool wheels, though. This is gonna take forever. I know, it is. Yeah. Yeah.